Welcome back and thanks for watching the video. This is my home gym and home office tour. For many of us, what you see me doing right here is probably very familiar. You find a quiet place inside of your home to set up your laptop to begin your work day. Quickly that spot changes, it changes to another place. And the thing that all of those places have in common is the fact that none of those places were made for you to focus on work. This video will cover the before after and entire process of my home gym and home office build. Thanks for tuning into another video guys and watching this, I really appreciate it. Down below are the timestamps if you're looking for anything in specific, but make sure you check out the whole video. I'm going to be talking about the adaptation that I had to make in order to have a home gym, keep my workout consistent and keep my workflow and everything I do on a daily basis for my job consistent. So many of the subscribers on this channel are fitness based, but I'm really excited to kind of release this video because it shows a lot of the fitness that I've done for the last couple of years while not releasing videos. It shows how I've continued to work out. It shows the routines and the machines and the things that I have at home that have allowed me to stay up with my fitness. I used to go to the gym about six days a week, taking one day off, and I still continue to do that at home, but the adaptation of that has greatly changed due to what I have available. And that is something I worked a long time at. I used to be extremely rigid. Even when on vacation, I would head to the gym. I would have to hit the same exact thing and track to make sure I was getting stronger. And at this point, I've kind of alleviated that mentality and kind of let that go and just realized that doing something is better than nothing. I'm not competing in physique shows. I'm not taking steroids. I'm not taking multiple protein shakes or anything every single day. I'm not tracking my macros. And if I do find myself in a position where I'm struggling with eating and I maybe feel like a little bit sloppy or I gained a couple pounds due to the holidays, I do throw on my fitness pal and I track calories again for a week. And usually in that week, I get back down to centered or what makes me feel good about myself, not really focusing on a scale or the number on the scale. I still intermittent fast on a daily basis. It's something that I have found works for me. It allows me to have larger meals, lunch, larger dinner. I have a ton of different videos on the channel. So if you want to click up here and check out those videos on intermittent fasting, and that is something that I hands down attribute to my weight loss and my ability to be consistent with my weight maintenance through COVID through everything that's happened over the last couple of years. It allows me to have a flexible dieting per se. A lot of people use that term flexible dieting and it allows me to enjoy the things I want and, and, and live my life, whether that's having a couple drinks, whether that's eating snacks, whether that's having sweets at night, cause I have a massive sweet tooth that I attribute to 100% the success in that. Let's get right into the gym. So getting right into the gym aspect, the gym hands down is by no means was this an overnight success. No, it took a lot of time to find individual items. And a lot of the stuff inside of the gym is either old videography things I used to use for videos, like way back on the channel, three or four years ago, I had a ring light. There's a ring light inside of there now, and there's an old soft box that's inside of there. So it gives the mood and a different lighting feel to the gym. I found the mirrors on Amazon and they were on a super sale. They're on some sort of clearance sale. And we actually had mirrors a long time before, um, totally different mirrors that were actually silver framed where we got off of Amazon as well, or at home goods or one of those secondary stores. But our Roomba when vacuuming knocked it over while Savannah was on the Peloton. So RIP to that. And that mirror is now in my office, which you'll see later in the video. Everything I'm mentioning in this will be linked down below in the description. So if you're interested in what things are, I will try and do my best because like I mentioned, some of these things are three or four years old and I will do my best to put all of the stuff in the description. So if you like it, you can buy it yourself, add it to your space and, and kind of start your home gym renovation, or if you need gym inspiration, or if this is your home office inspiration video, it'll be there for you. A couple other highlights inside of the home gym. Obviously I have the two recumbent bikes. I love the Peloton. I ride 
probably three or four times a week. Some are more aggressive rides. Some are a low heart rate um, list mentality where it's an hour and I'm making sure that I'm in zone two or zone three of a heart rate level, which I find to be the sweet spot for me on long-term cardio. I also love the basic recumbent bike. I love to sit on that bike. I have a little standing desk or a little sitting desk and I can put my laptop there, answer emails and do some work in the morning and kind of just pedal and, you know, spend an hour working out. But I'm also able to edit photos, do video work, do other creative work while I'm on my laptop and kind of multitask, do, do it together and get twice as much shit done. So. The newest addition to my home gym is by far one of my favorite pieces and favorite things I've added to the gym. Uh, the Max Pro Fitness Resistance Cable Set. I used resistance bands from Rogue for probably the first year or two and there was a cheap set on Amazon that I bought that traveled with me. And so when Max Pro Fitness reached out to me, I of course said yes because I had been getting hit with tons of ads and the, the product is absolutely amazing. I unboxed everything, got to mounting it, and since then, it's been something I use every single workout. Anything you would do at the gym with cables, this Max Pro Fitness Resistance Cable Setup has it's replaced that for me. Added bonus to that is the fact that they actually have an entire app and the smartphone app has at home classes. You can do cardio. They have tons of different strength training workouts in there, legs, core, chest. There's a million different things on this app and they're adding to it every single day. It's super versatile and I recommend checking it out. If you're looking for something that will eliminate a lot of gear or things you need in a home gym and allow you flexibility at your home workouts. As I mentioned, Max Pro reached out to me and offered me this product. They sent me the product. They said, hey, let us know what you think of it. It's not paid. I'm not told what to say. They wanted me to put it through the ringer and for the last two or three months and using it every single day because I wanted to be comfortable saying that it really is a great product. One or two downsides I do know of the product, there is absolutely no negative resistance. When you let go of the band, it sucks back up inside of it, it being recalled into the machine. It goes sucks back up inside. So if you're trying to do any sort of negative um, resistance on the muscle group you're working, you're not going to be able to have it. But the app is amazing. The app has the ability to track the output you're putting out, it tracks the reps for you. If you're doing a freestyle workout that you can do freestyle workouts and not follow along. So you can continue to hit your own tracked workouts that you're working through right now. So great product, not paid to say anything. I wanted to kind of make sure I highlighted them in this video. Big thanks for them, you know, sending that out. I love the product and it's definitely an asset to any home gym. Yo, so I'm in the middle of a workout right now, but I wanted to quickly talk about what I never knew I needed. I never knew what I was missing in my home setup was a second bench. Having a second bench and this cable setup allows me to superset and do twice the amount of movements and half the amount of time. That is something I missed about the gym. I was never able to superset as effectively in my home gym as I could at a Planet Fitness with all the different machines. I could walk and hit abs. I could do something with a curl bar and then come back and do a free weight. Now I have the cables and I'm able to do things like you see here. I can do cable um, fly laying on this bench. I can switch over to the other bench. I can do incline dumbbell bench press. That's what makes it so awesome for a home gym setup. It keeps the intensity, keeps it going, keeps it fast paced, and it gets you through twice as many things in half the amount of time. As a secondary lighting setup in the gym, I wanted to install Cafe Bistro lights to give a dim light that's perfect for when multiple people are working out. It really gives the gym a totally different feel and different atmosphere. Hands down, the most used item inside of the gym have to be the Bowflex 552s. And although they only go up to 52 and a half pounds, I rarely find myself needing more than that. And I'm aiming for higher reps to exhaust the muscle group and really put hypertrophy at the forefront of any of the workouts I'm doing in my home gym. And something that I've been working really hard on as of late is allowing myself five minutes after every workout to properly begin recovery. Take the time to foam roll, take the time to stretch and allow yourself that couple minutes for you to properly cool down after a workout. And like any other home gym, there are a ton of miscellaneous plates from rubber bumpers, Olympic bumpers, and a couple adjustable dumbbells that I use for supersetting. 
One other item I use on arm day is a rogue easy bar where I'm doing concentrated curls or I do reverse spider grip curls. And I do the reverse spider grip curls and a lot of dumbbell movements on the cap adjustable bench. And I'm super excited on the brand new Max Pro flat bench they sent. Now onto the home office. As I had mentioned, this space that I'm currently in right now has mutated a few different times. The previous owner actually had an amazing recording studio down here. So this was maybe a guitar room or a vocal booth that he had treated. And I then took kind of lead from that and transformed this into a drum space. When setting up the workspace, I knew that I wanted a couple things. I wanted to utilize whatever things that I had prior in our home office space desk setup, where we actually had dual setting desks for Savannah and I next to each other, which used the Alex drawers from Ikea. We had two smaller tabletops from Ikea as well. And so it was nice because there was two different setups. We had one of the Alex drawers in the middle, one Alex drawer in the end for each of us. And it was just a nice dual desk, his and her perfect setup for us. And I wanted to make sure I utilized things that I already had from that setup because we don't have a lot of storage space and I didn't want to throw stuff away and be wasteful. So I utilized those Alex drawers in this setup. As you can see, the three Alex drawers on the desk, and I absolutely love those because those have become where I hide all of the clutter in my office. The Alex drawers are broken down by gear type. It's kind of how my brain works. You have an audio drawer, you have a gimbal drawer, you have a drone drawer, I have a battery drawer. I have my random shrapnel drawer where there's tape and pens and chapstick and miscellaneous items that I just want to keep off the desk. And honestly, most of the drawers in the far left cabinet are not even used at all. So onto the gear and technology on the desk itself. I picked up an LG monitor. I absolutely love this thing, a productivity monitor. And that is all run by my MacBook Pro that runs through one cable to keep it clean into my Orico dock. It has great great, great data speed. And data speed transfer to me is everything because I'm constantly uploading video and photo and working on things. And, and th this setup right here has completely made my life easier because everything can stay plugged into where it needs to be. And all I have to do is plug in one USB-C plug into my laptop and it runs like a dream. Another cheat I always recommend is if you are using any sort of one terabyte, two terabyte SD, and it's a solid state SD, I highly recommend adding it or adding some Velcro to the back of your MacBook, your MacBook Pro, and you're able to then just attach it to the back of your laptop and walk away. You have a hard drive that just sticks to the back of your laptop. You don't have to worry about where it is. You don't have to worry about it falling off and it just plugs in the side of your computer and it's almost like it's two terabytes additional storage that's a part of your computer. You don't even recognize it's just always ready to go. It's always there. So something I'm not going to talk about too much is the cable management in this entire space. I don't want to rip apart my desk, show the back of it, but all of the cables are run on Amazon. I bought a cheap, super cheap kit and I keep it stashed right here. It has everything you can need. There's tons of Velcro. There's tons of cable management strips. There's little 3M tape that you stick to the wall or stick to your desk and you're able to run the cables under your desk. So you don't have clutter everywhere. And diving a little bit into the clutter aspect, in the back of the Alex drawers on the right-hand side of my desk, I made sure I drilled holes through them so I could run any of the cables I needed, whether they're USB or USB-C, out of the back is along with the power for all of the items inside of my battery drawer and inside of my audio drawer, which I use the Vocaster One. I absolutely love this thing. Right now I have the Vocaster One running into the, uh, Orico dock and then there's also a line running directly into the camera so I can use pro audio directly into the camera not worry about syncing it in a post and it makes it super easy to me you don't want to be spending time syncing audio in post just have good audio running in it allows me to do voiceovers directly into the Orico when I am doing any sort of zoom meeting I purchased a Logitech 
4K camera on top, which hooks into the Oroco again. Never need to unplug it. And I have my audio coming from the SM7B. And having a dedicated system for me just to be able to not worry about plugging multiple things, I literally just boom, plug it in when I wake up in the morning, have it sitting there. Someone calls me FaceTime. They call me on Zoom. I have a Zoom call. I hop on. I have a great picture. I have the awesome audio and I don't have to worry about it. And most times when I'm doing those meetings, I hook up via Bluetooth to my MacBook Pro, the Bose QuietComfort 45s. Um, these are the headphones I use most of the time when editing down here in the office. And if I am out at a coffee shop working on something, I will use the Apple AirPods. Those are always on me. And it's nice to go from a phone call out doing stuff to then being able to just switch it over to my computer and edit audio there. So like I said, easy peasy. That's the goal here. Make it as easy as possible. Since I'm actually downstairs in my house, there are no windows inside of this office space. And I wanted to do my best to replicate a lot of natural light in the office. And so I decided to hang the Amaran Aperture 60X bicolor LED light. It's portable, it's battery operated, it comes with a power cable. I have it mounted up in the wall in the corner of the studio space. They're small, they're compact. I use it on shoots all the time where you can literally pack it up, hold it inside of your hand, and you can run two of the MPF Sony batteries on the back and power the light. It's currently on like 4% right now, 100%. And I'm gonna take it back down. But I mean, this thing is bright. Kind of tricks my mind. It makes me feel with all that natural light in the space that there is sunlight coming in through the window, but as important as natural light and the lighting in the office was, I also knew it was very important for me to feel 100% comfortable in the office. For that to happen, I needed two things. First, I knew that in order to successfully have a calm feel throughout the office, I needed to pick up an essential oils diffuser. And to complement this, I knew that I wanted to have a space heater that was Wi-Fi operated, allowing me to have the space completely at the perfect temperature before I even went downstairs to begin working. This also allowed me to heat up the gym and get that to a comfortable temperature, allowing me to have an optimized workout. So I found a Govi smart heater, space gray. It looks amazing on Amazon. I picked that up. It heats my office. It heats a lot of the gym. If it's cold in the morning, it heats the downstairs area. And like I said, it runs off of my home, uh, my smart home. And I'm able to turn on it first thing in the morning. I can even set up schedules, which is nice. So when I come downstairs, it's already toasty and warm and I don't have to spend 40 minutes waiting for the gym to heat up so I can feel comfortable to work out or even start working early in the morning. And the essential oil diffuser is something that I didn't want to buy into these things there for what you're getting out of them to make sure you have some sort of look lavender and relax I want that in my life I want this space to feel comfortable and it makes the room smell good and it's something that just makes the room feel different so natural light the smell and making sure you're comfortable with the temperature inside of the space will allow you to spend more time in that space, stress less about what's going on and focus more on the important stuff that you're trying to work on. So that's my home office and home gym tour. It's been a long time coming. And like I said, over the last couple of years, I've been working on the home gym and only in the last couple of months, I've been working on the home office. And I really wanted to get these to a place where I was happy with before showing them to anybody. It's a work in progress. It takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. And so if you realize that, hey, maybe I want to try this home gym thing, start today, start your home gym slowly and invest the time inside of yourself because guess what? The one thing that's not going anywhere is yourself. And a lot of people have to find that realization and that balance very fast. And I think with the home gym aspect for me, that was a massive realization. It doesn't become a two hour thing anymore. It doesn't become something that I have to make painfully long. I can come downstairs, ride 30 minutes on the Peloton, boom, done. I could lift for 30 minutes, boom, done. And I didn't spend 30 or 40 minutes just commuting back and forth to the gym. Eliminate the stuff that keeps you from getting your workouts done. Eliminate the stuff that keeps you from getting your work done. Feel comfortable, feel great in your space and build those spaces. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, drop them down in a comment below. I will upload when I can. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you click the bell for notifications so you know when I release a new video, hit that thumbs up. So thanks for tuning in guys. Have a great rest of your day, evening, wherever you're watching this and I'll see you guys soon.